I can give you a little bit of an update. Uh, certainly it was decided to reduce the number of international staff in light of the escalating violence in, in recent days. Uh, this violence includes, as you well know, increased fighting around Damascus, the closure of the airport for a few days, and uh, fighting on the road to the airport. It also includes the fact that in recent days, two convoys of the UN Disengagement Observer Force uh, came under fire and uh, four people were wounded. Uh, it was assessed that the general level of instability was such that most UN programming activity would be affected. Um, let me stress that the United Nations is still in Damascus, of course, performing humanitarian operations as security conditions permit. Security reasons, and also given that any use of such terrible weapons would have dire consequences for uh, the population of Syria and, of course, potentially for a much uh, wider area. So this is something that the international community is extremely concerned about and continues to watch extremely closely. The Secretary General has, as you will know, in the past communicated his concerns directly in writing to the Syrian authorities, indeed to uh, the President Assad. And so there should be no doubt about this, the, the gravity of this and how serious, uh, seriously we take this. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, there is obvious concern about this, and what I can tell you is that the Secretary General is seriously concerned about uh, the announcement of a planned rocket launch by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Any such launch would constitute a clear violation of Security Council Resolution 1874, in which the Council demanded that the DPRK not conduct any launch using ballistic missile technology such a launch would also heighten tension in the region. The Secretary General renews his call on the DPR.